Good afternoon, guys. I'm back with another video. I am going to show you how I doctor up my gypsy mix. This is cornbread, com cornbread muffin mix. So what I like to do, I'm gonna put it in my favorite container here to mix up. And I have my gypsy mix. So I am going to put a half a cup of buttermilk, regular cornbread meal in here. Then I am going to add one egg. And I have me one cup, my, I have one cup of buttermilk. We're gonna add that into our recipe. Then we are going to add a half a, one third cup of water. And then we are going to mix it up really well. And this is how I make my buttermilk cornbread. So guys, you know you can't cook black eyed peas without cornbread. So once we mix this up really well, okay, we're gonna mix it up really, really good. And once we mix it up really well, we are going to put it into the oven. So in this container here that I am pulling out the oven, I am going to put my cornbread into that pan. So what I did with that pan, guys, is I put my butter into this pan and I put it into the oven so it could get nice and hot. So what we are going to do is we are going to take some of this nice melted butter and we are going to put the fruit drops into our cornbread, okay? Then you are going to stir it up really well. And after you mix your egg, your half a cup of regular buttermilk meal, cornmeal, and your one cup of buttermilk, regular buttermilk, and you had one third cup of water. We're gonna mix all that up with our butter that we just put in there. And then we are gonna pour our cornbread into the pan. Now you don't have to use a pan like this. You can use any pan that you prefer. And then you are going to take this recipe and you are going to put your cornbread into the oven and just let it bake. And while And while our cornbread is baking, we are going to look at our black eyed peas and see what they are doing. So remember guys, I told you about the bacon into your black eyed peas. So what I did is I baked my bacon a little bit and I am going to add my bacon into my black eyed peas. And we are going to cut these black eyed peas down on medium. And we are going to let our black eyed peas cook for about an hour and a half. Black eyed peas don't take long to cook at all. Also, I wanted to share with you about see that grease that we got 
long for that little bacon that I baked. So what I am going to do is I am going to put that little oil into the pan, okay? It's not going to hurt it. Beans, for some reason, beans just absorb oils and grease for some reason. So what we got here is we got our some bacon in there. We got our black eyed peas, a nice season. So what we are doing is we just waiting for it to get done so we can enjoy. Guys, I hope that I was able to show you something good, a good recipe that you can share with your family. And I'll see you on the next video and have a wonderful holiday. God bless you. And I love you all and have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.